Hey, what is going on, guys? This is PC Game Boys One here today with a brand new video, and we will be doing a replacement of our graphics card on our main computer. As you can see, currently we have a GeForce GTX 60 in the PC. This graphics card has been very good to us, as you probably saw in our previous videos of our GTA 5 gameplay and many other games. Unfortunately, we had to upgrade because that's just a part of life. So uh, we upgraded to the GTX G4, GTX 960 Super Clock. We had ordered this about maybe last week, two weeks ago, probably. It just came in today, so I just wanted to, you know, throw a little video together for you guys. So, you know, we're going to be installing this today, and we don't know what we're going to do with this GeForce GTX 660. So just let us know in the comment section below. We might do a giveaway. You never know. Well, um, yeah, let's get started with this installation. So we're going to unplug the 6-pin power connector. going to do that. Sorry. i do that first. we got two SSD drives right there. It's probably not the best place to keep it, but hey, it works. All right. This is actually a good graphics card, by the way. Two gigabyte um, GeForce. So, just gonna take it out. Again, this Gotta disconnected. Be very, be very careful when taking this out, by the way. So, anyway, this is the card. Actually, I I got this used off of eBay. It's a huge card, really big. Um, this is. It's in yeah. pretty decent condition, probably 8 out of 10. But yeah, it still works, guys. So just let us know in the comment still section great. below. We if, can do a giveaway. If, or If you compare sell. it to this card, you could see the difference, guys. It That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, they're both the same um, width. I mean, yeah. yeah Lengthwise, they're, they're different. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to install it. Let me stop wasting time. All right? So let's get this 960. And again, this is GTX 660, all right? All right, so let's see. Um, gonna install it into the same slot that I had the first that I had the GTX car. All right, so I'm doing so it now. So you let them know which slot it's going into. Is it the it's, third um, one? It's going into the first slot where oh. I had the GTX car. Okay, you see it, guys. That's okay. where it's going. And don't Come forget on. guys just leave a comment below in the comment section let us know if we should do a giveaway for this card or sell it we don't know most likely a giveaway for you guys i know a lot of people you know need some good updated graphics cards and their pcs so just let us know also don't forget to follow us on twitter at pc gamer boys one i will have that in the comment section below okay so and i just installed sorry yeah so i just installed it and um, as you can see, it fits fits great. Um, by the way, this is an HP Z400. Um, if you're wondering if this will work with it, yes, it will. Uh, and the power supply that I have on here is a 400 and I think 70 watt power supply. I don't remember. It says it on there. You could. Read. You can probably see it from there. Yeah, but it's it's on there. And I bet you're wondering if, if it's compatible. Yes, I did my research, so it is compatible and it will work. So now I'm going to hook in my 6-pin connector to the GPU. If it's comfortable, uh, if it's good. Um, yeah. So now uh, we're going to do a part 3 where we're going to go into... Part two. No, part 3 because I did a part oh. 1 already of unboxing. We're going to do a part 3 of... Um, I'm just, just, just booting it up it out. to make sure everything works fine. Yeah, guys. Um, so the previous card I had in here before the GTX 660 was the Quadro FX 1800. That is a pretty good card for some light, light gaming. Like um, Mario Kart and Mario Tennis, you know? And um, GTA 5, you could play on there, but... GTA Liberty City. Any games that require, I mean, require direct x12 you cannot play you cannot use that um it won't allow you to use um to to use that card i mean 
it won't allow you to play because that car does not support DX12. But anyway, I'm gonna start this up um, and I will get back to you, all right? Peace, guys. All right, guys, make sure you come back for the next all video. All right, guys, Peace. so we just installed the GTX 960 and I am going to start it up. Yeah, guys, welcome so, to this part three. We are going to test this out and see if everything works out for the most likely will, but so let's get this startup going. All right, guys. So we're booting up now. And 960 is officially installed. So now we just gotta wait. And wait. Oh, All right, okay. so we got a display, guys. Um, this is just, <laughs> this is just, uh, what do you call it? It's just the beginning. Yeah. Now, let's see. I, I already have all the drivers installed on here, so I don't think, I don't, I don't think I would have to install them again. Hopefully, I don't. Let's see how everything goes. Hopefully, guys, there will be no issues. So, and by the way, guys, this is the computer that I'm using is the HP Z400. And, come on. Wow, guys, so as you can see, it actually went through I'm just gonna log in real quick okay uh, hold on a second my keyboard is not properly plugged in so I hit that uh, just kind of there why does the display look different though it looks wider Yeah, guys, we're just going to make sure this keyboard is plugged in all the way. apologize for the wait uh just fixing the keyboard real quick i don't know what's going on but just making sure all the correct wires are plugged in correctly and make sure everything's in the right place try it again wow okay i'm gonna oh okay it just came on oh that was weird Not sure what happened there, guys. Okay, so that's that. Um, okay, I guess I have to install the drivers. For Guys, don't forget, um, we might be doing a giveaway for the GTX 660. It's in perfect condition, 
or near perfect condition. There's no issues with it, no cracks, no nothing. It's not broken at all. But um, either we'll be doing a giveaway or just selling it. So just don't forget to email us if you're interested. Email us at um, pcgamerboys1 at gmail.com. I'll leave that in the description below. And if you, for some reason, don't have an email, which is, you know, impossible. Well, not impossible, but, you know, some people don't have emails. Anyways, uh, hit us up on Twitter at PCGamerBoys1. And make sure you follow us. But um, it just looks like everything is working so far. So we're just waiting for everything to boot up and to finish loading. For some reason it says the keyboard is unplugged, but it's not. Right now we're just installing the, it's, it has to do a fresh like driver install, which I didn't, I didn't know it would do that, but that's what it's doing right now. I said I gotta wait for that. Uh, and hey guys, as we're waiting, you know what I always say. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Alright? Don't forget, like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Also guys, make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be having a live stream going on in probably another hour or two. And um, it's going to be a little surprise. I'm going to have a, a little guest with me. A guest, but not really a guest. But um, yeah, guys, make sure you stay tuned for that live stream of online gameplay. And, you know, we'll have a good time. I promise. Don't worry. All right, guys. So we are going to end this here. Uh, we're gonna um, come back. So, sorry about that. We're gonna come back to you. after the four. drivers have um, finished installing. We will make a video showing that everything did go well. All right, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is part four of installing the GTX 960 um, EVGA Super Clocked Edition. So far. Um, I just finished installing the drivers and I'm just waiting for this thing to boot back up. Okay. Um, just give it some time, you know, be patient. And I'll give you a quick look what I, what's going on now. And that's the GTX right there. Seems like everything is so far, everything is good. Didn't have any issues. Thank God. It's gonna be 960. 960. Yep. So just waiting for it to boot back up. Um, at first, I was running into just one problem. My keyboard it was just acting was acting really funny, but it's fine now. Thank God. All right. So let's see what happens. So far, everything is good. It went back to my normal screen. Um, looks like uh, let's see. the resolution. Okay, everything seems fine. Um, So everything seems fine right now. I'm gonna go to GPU Z because at first I did not see it at all. I didn't recognize it. So I'm gonna load that up to make sure it's there. And um, yeah, as you can see, it just recognized my card, the GTX 960. Okay. This is the Super Clock Edition. So, yeah. Um, I use M.2 
the side after burner so we actually, actually increase the fan speed wow that fan is loud I don't know if y'all can hear it okay I'm gonna put it back on I'm gonna put it low okay so I'm gonna just jump down for you can increase it Josh right here just move, move it up and press it for the slider just to finish me all the way up to the middle okay so apply I don't know if you hear it, but that is the fan. And that's loud. That's louder than um, my GTX uh, 660 fan. So, that's awesome. I don't know if you have to see it. Uh, I'm using MSI afterburner to, to uh, I didn't mess with these yet, I'm not going to touch that, but we can increase the fan speed. I will bring it back on, put it back on auto. Yeah, but that's, that's awesome. I guess I'll leave it. Like around uh, uh, I guess 60. I'll leave it around there. Okay. So, but so far everything works fine. Let's go to my N NVIDIA control panel. Because that was not opening up from before. But I guess that's because I didn't have driver is installed so I'm gonna apply it I'm gonna apply it so it's just applying the changes so if everything is good um, yeah one more thing I have to do if I'm going to use an after effects I guess I'll have to find that later, but anyway, let me make sure I wreck the oh, wrong one. Alright guys, so I, I hope you enjoyed this video that um, that I put together. Um, what else, what else? This was a success, didn't have any issues. Um, and this is the HPZ 400, and I'm just confirming that the 960 does work with it. I will do some tests, I will do some gaming, and yeah, but uh, thanks for watching guys, peace.